Aries, welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're going to do your love reading for December 2020. First we're going to pull an oracle card just to get a feeling for the energy for you guys for the month. See what's going on energetically. Message, spirit guides, angels, ascendant masters. Can we get a card for the overall energy for Aries in love? Overall energy for Aries in love for December 2020. What is going on with Aries in regards to love? Oh, seems like that one. Creativity. Allow your creative spark to work magic. All right, so be creative. Underneath that is dreams. So when it comes to your dreams, be creative. The reason I pulled that is because I thought there was more, you know, like when it flipped, I wasn't sure. But they're all good cards. Underneath that's confidence. We have serenity. We have beauty. Opportunity. So the energy feels good for you guys. Underneath bottom of the deck is rejuvenation. So I'm just going to take the top two cards there. Creativity and dreams. And that's what I get. Be, be creative when it comes to your dreams. Okay? And, and have confident. Be confident. So let's see what's going on with your person. Okay? So I'm going to pull from uh, their perspective. Because you guys probably know what's going on with yourself. And you probably know want to know more about them. So let's see what's going on in their head space. Spirit guides, angels, ascendant masters. What's going on? with Aries person in regards to their head space. We have the chariot. That's funny because it came out when uh, doing the pre-shuffle. And then we have the eight of wands. So definitely movement, you guys. Definitely movement. All right. So that's their head space. Let me lay out all the cards to get a whole big picture and then we'll do the reading. So let's see what's in their heart space. All right. Judgment. Ooh. Other cards flipped out. Page of Swords and Knight. Looks like Knight of Wands. All right. Let me just cut it like this first and then I'll pull it out. Let's see what is their obstacle. Can we get a card for Aries person's obstacle or challenge or problem issue? All right. Two of. Is it just two? We have strength. We have the magician. Oh, two of wands. All right. Advice from spirit. Spirit guides, angels, and at masters. Can we get a, an advice card for Aries person? Advice. I think this card wanted to come out. It's more of this. That's funny, that came out too in the pre-shuffle. I'm going to take this since it was kind of underneath with that. This is six, six of Swords. So that's the advice. And then final outcome, Spirit of the Situation. Final outcome. Final outcome, spirit. Wow. Justice for the final outcome. Bye. 
bottom of the deck we have tower. All right. So in their headspace, what are they thinking? We have the chariot. So that's movement card. They're, they're moving forward or getting ready to make some kind of a move. Balancing between the duality, black and white. And then we have Eight of Wands. So it's going to be a quick, fast movement, sudden movement, move forward movement. So they're, may, they're thinking about a message too, because Eight of Wands sometimes can be messages. So they're thinking about moving forward, full, full speed ahead, very fast, rapid full speed. That's what they're thinking in their head space. In their heart space, we have judgment. We have page of sword. And we have knight of swords. So, in their heart space, I feel like they want to cut cut out. See how he ha he's he's holding the sword. Like he wants to and here's this the angel's holding a sword as well. And this guy is with a bear walking uphill in the cold winter. So in their in their heart space, they're feeling like they want. I don't know. If revenge is the right word, but basically, karmic justice, which we have as here as the outcome, because judgment is is like judgment day, right? Karma, uh, karmic do do unto others as you have others do unto you. Basically, you you. Reap what you sow, oh, kind of a thing. So, so they're feeling like I'm getting the word revenge. Like what? What's coming to the person is oh that person or. Is, is do that person. Like they're ready. They're feeling they're ready. See, he's he's in his helmet and his armor. Yeah, they're, they're feeling they want justice. This is their obstacle, though. This is their problem, their issue. We have two of wands. So she has a cage around her head, but the door is open. And then we have strength. And then we have the magician. So their obstacle is feeling perhaps trapped or stuck. Although it's just mental. It's just their, their thinking that makes them feel stuck because the cage door is open. There's nothing to stop them. But they're just feeling stuck. And they need to... Okay, so this is... Their obstacle is their... Is their they're thinking they they're feeling they're stuck and they don't have the and they don't have the strength to manifest what it is that they want so that's their obstacle right now is feeling stuck or the illusion of being stuck or trapped not having enough strength to create and manifest. 
So spirit advice, we have the six. What is traditionally the six? The six is the lovers. I think this is the major arcana. This deck, it doesn't say on here what it is. That's funny. We have two six cards, six, six. So this six, I believe, is a major arcana card. Yeah. Well... I'm sorry guys, this deck I don't use often. So spirit advice is to move forward. Hold on, let me see. I just want to take a look at that, that card to make sure. I just want to see what um, what suit it is. Is it wands? It's not wands. I think this is so this is the six of swords right here which is moving away but I'm trying to figure out if this is a major arcana card you don't use this stack too much I don't think it's one of the one of the suits So this is right here, a spirit advice, which is moving away from, see this snake right here, moving away from this snake. Let's get clarity for this card because there is a lot of people here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's almost like they're standing and doing some kind of ritual or prayer summoning. All right, can we get a clarifier card for this, this six? All right, what is this? Look, you guys, magician. Okay, so it's about manifesting. See, like all these people coming together, praying, creating, manifesting as a group. So spirit, and that's the clarifier, is the magician, basically creating, manifesting. So spirit advice to them is, is basically create and manifest whether it's through prayer or ritual or this 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 picture is like this group of people is summoning this this thing right here 
So basically, spirit advice is to basically pray and create and manifest and then move and then move away from that darkness, that snake. And the final outcome, as we saw earlier, is justice. It's the scale of balance. There will be justice. And this is very, very interesting, this card. I'm determined to figure out what suit that is if it's not the Major Arcana because I think the Major Arcana are all um, they have titles on them So just to give me a little more clarity. Okay, so Six of Swords is here. This is Six of Pentacles and this is Six of Wands. Okay, so that's Six of Cups. Yeah, so here's all the six. So this right here is six of cups. But I also read intuitively. And this to me looks like a whole group of people coming together and creating, manifesting this big thing. It's interesting, there's six and six. And then when I ask for clarity, I get the magician. So spirit advice to them is, or and now the roles could be reversed, is to create and manifest. It's like summoning, okay. So summoning, creating, so all these people getting together, creating this. And then I ask for a clarifier, I get the magician, which is creating, manifesting, using all your tools and skill to bring. And then six of swords, and then move forward, or leave that situation and move forward with it. And final outcome is justice. Okay, so this is, it fits with this which is in their headspace is moving forward. Remember I was saying quick movement, forward movement, very fast. And then coming back to the energy of the reading was creativity and dreams. Creating your dreams. Be creative in, in, in creating your dreams. And that's about creating and manifesting. So sorry about that guys. I was um, I don't use this deck much. It's a fairly new deck for me and this this picture threw me off. I wasn't sure if it's a major arcana or minor arcana, but I figure out it's six of cups. But it doesn't matter anyway, so I should have trust my intuition with this because traditionally the six of cups is um is it doesn't really look like this anyway so I uh, so figuring out it's the six of cup didn't really make a difference in, in my reading but I was just I just want to make sure what I was getting but that's spirit advice to them it's basically to manifest to create and then move forward with it and there will be justice because in their in their heart space they're feeling like they want they want 
um, judgment. They want justice. So I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if this is in relations to you or to someone else or just in love in general. But they, they are feeling they want justice. They want whomever that did them injustice to get what they deserve, pretty much. So I hope that resonate and it helped make sense to you guys. It's just the energy is not the greatest, but it's not bad either because the final outcome in the end is there will be justice justice will be served but I just hope that they let karma work itself out and that they don't take justice in, into their own hand because the energy is like they want justice and it doesn't feel 100% great you know, like when a person is mad and they want justice, they want vengeance, and they go and take justice into their own hand. I'm not saying that they will or will not, but just the energy is not very good. But the final outcome is there will be justice. So, let's just pull a surrender card spirit guys angels ascendant masters all right surrender obsessive thinking all right so the message is to surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Yep. So remember I was saying this is what they're feeling and I was saying, I hope they leave it up to karma. And this is what it's saying. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So they may be obsessed about this situation. And they may be stubborn about it. They have it in their, in their head space, in their heart space. So hopefully, hopefully they will let karma take care of itself and not take it into their own hands. All right, so I hope that makes sense. I hope that was helpful and useful. Let me know in the comment if it makes sense, if it resonates. If it doesn't, if it's not your reading, then don't, don't take it as your reading if it doesn't apply to you because it feels very specific this reading for whomever that it resonate with or it applies to all right so i hope you guys enjoy that thanks for watching love and light to you and i'll catch you again next time bye